Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the Divine Masculine Message for Tuesday. I do feel the throat chakra is feeling a little bit easier today. So the masculines are definitely working through their fears and insecurities about being available to reach out. And remember the message from last night, the most scary thing for the masculines is actually initiating contact. You know, when they actually initiate that communication, that's the worst part over for them because they're a little bit afraid, you know, they're afraid of what they're going to say, how they are going to act and feel when they're talking to you because then all of their vulnerability and insecurities come out, but also because they're afraid of what you're going to do, how you're going to respond or react to them too. So once they actually make that move and reach out to you, it's half the battle done. So today I'm going to bring in the Divine Masculine Message Tarot. Now, I am really feeling Lord Ganesh around the twins today, but especially around the Divine Masculines, moving obstacles out of the way to create the way forward. So I've been guided to Lord Ganesh's top today, which is really beautiful. But I was looking for Lord Ganesha cards and I've got them and I asked the angels to guide me to them and I couldn't find them. But what they did guide me to is the Rise of the Warrior Oracle by our soul sister Luna Marie. Now, I really want to use this deck instead because, you know, with the kind of energy on the front here, this is about Ascended Masters and the guides around the masculine, and they're being guided from their ancient ancestors. So I feel that Lord Ganesh is saying, this is the deck you need to use to get the right message through. So thank you, angels. What's the energy around the masculine today? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What's he going through today? So this kind of, you know, this deck is going to tap in with his overall energy. And then we're going to see how he's rising up to be the divine mask and that he was truly born to be. And that was the message coming through yesterday. So very powerful. Here we go. Okay. A couple of cards coming out. I'm going to take them. So I feel this one's moving on top as well. I feel this is the main message. And then these ones are clarifiers. So the message is... I mean, look at this for powerful. I am working hard for our future. So your masculine wants you to know that he is doing the work. In this energy now, you know, the Eight of Pentacles can also be connected with strength, the Lion's Gate energy, Leo energy, as we move forward. So he's saying, I am doing the work. Even when things get in the way. Now look at my hair, okay? This bit of fringe is getting in the way today. So I'm going to move that out of the way. So when things get in the way, all we have to do is move them out of the way. And that's the energy that's coming through. Everything happens for a reason in a reading. So he's saying, look at this. Oh, honestly, thank you, angels. I get angel bumps. I get angel bumps even now after working with the angels all these years. Look at this. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Now, I've got even more of an angel bump because... In the daily angel reading for today, we got penguins and penguins symbolize breakthroughs. And Archangel Nathaniel and Lord Ganesh are bringing in breakthroughs, removing obstacles out of the way, creating the way. And this is the energy of the phoenix here, rising up through the ashes. So your mask has been reborn and it says a rebirth from the ashes. So the phoenix is that huge message of rebirth energy. The masculine saying to you, I am breaking through my fear. I am breaking through the past. I am moving forward. I am moving things out of the way. I am creating the way. I'm gaining clarity. I finally understand. I am doing the work. So if you see phoenixes today or anything that looks like a phoenix, what I'm seeing here is kind of like a superhero, a superhero with wings rising up. You could see that as an angel. Your masculine is transforming into the earth angel that we came here to be. So these are clarifiers. So these are cards helping this energy out because that's the energy is working hard for the future. Even if you can't see it, it's all going on behind the scenes. There's action and power and passion and fire energy here and the energy of rebirth as we move into the lion's gate energy. Very interesting. We've got commitment. So he wants to commit to you. Says your connection is ascending. Well, it certainly is. So the connection you guys have is ascending to the next level. That's why you're going through ascension. That's why you're picking up on all of this. So your masculine is letting you know he's working hard to bring commitment into your future. 
That means letting go of where he is now to be with you, working through fears around commitment, to be able to marry you, be with you and live a life with you. And look at this wrap up for winter time to hibernate. So the masculine is preparing for the winter. What does that mean? That means he's getting ready. I feel a lot of the masculines are going to be making changes, you know, around definitely before Christmas time, but also around Christmas time as we move into the new year. So he says time to hibernate, wrap up for winter. I feel this is reminding you why separation occurs, why the silence occurs, because during those cool times, you know, which feel like winter, that's when the magic takes place. You know, in winter, it seems very cold. You know, there's nothing really going on. You've got no trees with leaves on and it all seems very barren. But underneath the surface, everything's beginning to bloom, ready for the spring. Imagine what it's like when you've got snow on the ground. It's very cleansing. So there's a cleansing going on during the silence and during the distance and the quiet moments, those winter periods. So during the winter periods, now, you know, I'm not feeling this means winter time. It doesn't mean get ready for winter because something big's coming, even though it is. It's not like you're going to go into separation at winter or anything like that. What I'm feeling is we have to wrap up during the silence. We have to wrap up during the quiet times. That means we wrap things up in our life, which means we complete things. We move away from the old to bring in the new. We tie up all the loose ends. So we wrap things up ready for the springtime. We prepare things, but we also have to give us our extra comfort too. So this is also about giving yourself what you crave from them during this time of hibernation. So the masculine is saying to you, if I seem quiet or distant, I'm really just hibernating. I'm not asleep. I'm doing the work. So he's doing the work. This is kind of the energy of the four of swords, you know, reflection and healing. And when that comes up with the eight of pentacles, it's always a good sign of change. We've got the uprising. It says we are all connected, absolutely, and that's the number five. So he's realizing that you and you, you're, you know, you two are connected. So you and your twin are connected, but he's also connected with everything. You know, he's going through a big awakening and a big shift of consciousness because he's ascending to the next level. So his awareness, his spiritual awareness, is becoming much more in depth and strong and intense. So expect these kind of intense conversations. You know, when you meet up and you come together, he wants to talk about the universe and twin flames and commitments and, you know, ascended masters and all these things because he's really genuinely interested because he knows it's part of who he is. You know, it's part of leaving the legacy that he's coming here to leave and he's carrying on the legacy of his ancestors. So he's understanding more and more that we are all one and that when people leave this life, they're never really gone because we're all one. We're one with everything. You know, this table is energy, your energy, I'm energy. We're all connected. We're all one. And I do feel that big shift happening. You know, the masculines are getting ready for a new beginning. They're getting ready for the years of commitment. 23, 24, 2023, 2024. It warms my heart how many twins are now coming into union. You know, yesterday on the Daily Twin Flame reading, we did a testimony from our soul sister saying, I'm in union now. And we've had many, you know, there's that many. I'm not sharing them every day, but I get them through email. George gets them. They're in the comment section. And not just about union, but about reunion, coming back together. You know, hearing from your twin after long periods of time. So the masculine is saying to you today, Divine Feminine, I am doing the work because I'm rising up like a phoenix from the ashes nothing's going to keep me down. I want you. I want you in my life, my bed, my room, my home, my life. And I want to commit to you. And I want to make things happen. We're rising up because we are warriors. And that's the message coming through. So breakthroughs and change. Archangel Nathaniel and Lord Ganesh all around the masculines today making the way. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.